Wes, what do you think made the difference for them in the second half? Uh, I think what made the difference is the free throws. I mean, 34-8, it's tough to overcome. I know they're good, and I know they, um, you know, maybe he gets them, but our three drivers, Denny, Jordan, Coos, zero. I mean, that's it's a tough pill for a team we know. They're top six in fouls per game. We're eighth in the league in rim attempts. There's a disparity there. That's a problem. It's, it's really frustrating because our guys are competing. They're playing the right way. I mean, high assists, low turnover night, 39 assists, season high. The ball is moving. So we're doing a lot of good things. And, you know, you don't, you don't feel like you're getting the same, uh, the same treatment. When you do have a game like this where there was just one free throw attempt by halftime, I know. Um, well, what's uh, what has to be the approach from your team when you want to understand that that's the dynamic of the game? Well, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's it's not going to change. But continue to play with force, play downhill. You know, Sixty plus points in the paint. That's been you know our calling card all season, playing downhill. Um, at some point, you hope it evens out. Wes, how do you evaluate the um, the defense after this one? I think we did some some good things, honestly. Um, I know it's you know Beat had another big night, but 13 free throws uh, leads the league, so he's getting that a lot. Um, but he beat us with jump shots, and you know you, you come into a game where the guys ISO and top four or five in the league in post ups, you know you're going to live with tough contested twos, and you know he's going to make them, you know so. Did a good job defending the three. Um, you know, he made some tough ones late, but um, if, if that's the way they have to beat us, then I, I'll live with that. What, I know the whistles or whatever was part of it, but Jordan's third quarter compared to his fourth, were they applying different pressure to him late in the game, or what was? Yeah, they started to switch a little bit. Um, you know, of course, they're going to be more aggressive. Um, but I thought he had an efficient night. You know, once again, it's... You know, when we're moving the ball, we're pretty good, and I think that tempo, specifically early in that first half, um, you know, was great for us. Corey found the three. Uh, we got some runouts, um, some early threes um, in transition. I think that really helped. I think like four minutes left in the third quarter, Jordan had the layup off the DHO. They called timeout. You're talking with Jordan. Is that just a, hey, this is what you can continue to do and continue to be successful with? What are you reminding him of? Yeah, no, we were... Uh, you know, kind of laughing about the play call. Um, um, he called one thing and did the other, and it, it worked out. So, um, but no, I think that's great. Just him finding a rhythm. Um, you know, he's really good between the, the pro lanes, playing two man actions, playing high pick and roll. Um, just to see him, be, you know, become more and more comfortable, be more and more efficient, I think that's great. Until Gaff had fouled out, you had Denny and Bilal on the bench. Uh, went with Corey at the shooting. What was the thought process well, there? Corey was rolling. You know, he's really playing well. And not, it wasn't a knock against those other two. It was just um, I thought he got going and saw the ball go in. Um, he was having an efficient night, so I wanted to stay with him. Kind of spoke about the defense earlier, but specifically the steals. It seems like you seem like you all were getting in the lanes more than at least I've seen most of the season. What kind of went into that for you tonight? I think just the um, you know being in the right spot was something that we've we've harped on. We've had some really good nights getting deflections, turning teams over. Uh, we're not up the line. We're not gambling. Um, you know we want to make sure we try to protect the paint as much as possible. Uh, make make them play shell offense and not downhill. But being in the right spot, oftentimes you'll fall into them. You know, just active hands, um, you know, showing the crowd early. You know, sometimes they're reluctant to get off of it. Um, I know you mentioned high assist night for the whole team, but what did you think of Denny's playmaking in particular in the first half? He had eight assists. Yeah, he was very good. You know, I think just um, composed, you know, didn't force it. You know, I think he just read what the de defense gave him and found the, uh, found the openings. Um, and I think once he gets downhill, gets in the paint, he's done a much better job of, um, you know, using his fakes, keeping his feet, um, his pivots, and finding those windows. I think at times last year, you kind of get off balance or um, get in the air a little bit and then try to make a decision. 
So he's slowing himself down. I think he's done a better job of, of reading what the defense uh, shows and then making the right play. And then with some of the injuries, if I'm not mistaken, this was one of the first time Jared Butler has gotten some run throughout the entire game. What do you make of his game? Um, he had zero points but four assists. Yeah, he was solid. Um, yeah, I think he, uh, he had two really good plays, like the one look off, drop off pass to uh, I think it was Gaff. Um, and we've seen him, you know, at times during practice and, you know, of course with the go-go, but I think that's a, a really good stretch for him. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.